What is going on guys? We gotta talk. Because today I'm going to prove to you that you are scamming me on Instagram. So let us get right into it. Alright guys, so most of you will probably not know what I'm talking about and that's fine because it's not too serious. But a while ago I made an experiment on Instagram, a story where I asked you to flip a coin and then press what you got as a result. And I wanted to do this in order to make a video called the law of large numbers explained with statistics and coin flips. And I made that video already but without the story because the story didn't work, uh, didn't, didn't end up working quite the way I wanted it to work. So the law of large number basically says that if you have an experiment with a certain expectation value, uh, if you do that experiment often enough with enough um, iterations, you could say, or coin flips in this case, you would have uh, the expectation value or something approximating the expectation value. So I thought that, okay, if 4,000 people flip a coin, then we're going to have something approximating 50-50, maybe 49 or 48 to... Uh, to 52, 51, whatever, but the results were actually quite different. The result, the final result looked like this, 69% to 31%. This is what you guys got from flipping a coin, those of you who participated. Um, and the absolute numbers are those, 2,332 and 1,059. So that is... Uh, when I saw this, I thought maybe I didn't understand statistics quite right. Uh, but then I remembered that a while ago, even longer ago, I made a different experiment on Instagram, which quite surprised me. And this was, I think this is the right picture here. Let's see how programmers think. Keep it 50-50. Can we keep the poll around 50-50 without knowing what everyone else has voted for? So those of you who are not on Instagram, you can vote for left or right, and you don't see what everyone else has voted for unless you have clicked, uh, unless you have voted yourself. So in this case, you have a 50-50 chance, okay, are you going to click on the green one? Are you going to click on the red one? Maybe you think, okay, most people are going to click on the green one, so I'm going to click on the red one. But then again, a lot of people are going to think like that, so maybe I'm going to press the green one. So basically, you can go full circle. Uh, in the end, it's 50-50. And this time it worked, right? It was before that, but it worked. It had 50-50. And of course, we didn't have uh, the same amount of participants, but we had still a pretty large number. So 343 uh, and 349, which is not too little. So we have 50-50. And I repeated that experiment actually uh, a couple of days ago. And I think it's this one here. Uh, we didn't end up quite with 50-50, but it was still not too far away. It was 48 to 52. And in this case, we don't even know if the expected value is 50-50, but it's kind of 50-50. So maybe you can add some psychology in here and maybe it's 52 to something. Uh, but this actually works. So if the experiment is 50-50 and the people participate in it, it should work uh, that we get 50-50 results here. So this is the uh, this was before the end. So you can see less participants here, uh, but it worked out. So what I was interested in is is this even a possible result? Now possible, of course it's possible. Everything is possible. It's also possible that four thousand people get heads. So it's not that it cannot happen. By the way, in between we had seventy one to twenty nine. So uh, that doesn't really work here. Um, and I was very suspicious, and I thought let's. Let's look at the statistics and see what's the likelihood of that happening. And I can turn this into a video because we're going to learn how to do this in Python. And I'm also going to show you uh, what, what, uh, how to calculate this probability. So you're going to learn a little bit of statistics probability theory and also a little bit of Python. Uh, but I can spoil you right away that I got a ton of messages because in this story I basically said that you guys are not flipping coins or throwing coins. Uh, and I got a lot of messages from people that just said, okay, I just picked one of the two. I just pressed green because I thought, okay, it doesn't really, uh, it's 50-50, so it doesn't really matter. So you can see that most people did not flip a coin. And I'm going to pr prove you that using Python and statistics. All right, so I'm going to prove to you using Python and statistics that this outcome is more than unlikely. It's almost impossible. And for this, we're going to start by importing numpy as np and by importing from scipy.stats, we're going to import binome. Because a coin flip, 
basically what we're having is we have two possible outcomes, heads or tails. You can say win or lose and both have a probability of 0.5, which is 50%. So first of all, we're going to do a little simulation and we're going to say heads equals NP random dot binomial. And here we're going to specify the amount of flips that we're going to make. And then we're going to see, okay, how many hats are we going to end up with? And let's uh, one more time look at the um, at the screenshots here. So which one was it? Was it that? Okay, this is just a percentage. We need the numbers. Was it that? No, this one, right? So we have 2332 and 1059. So in total, we can just say total equals what was the number 2332 plus 1059. So this is the total amount that we had. Now we can take that total amount and set n to this total amount here. And we can say, okay, the probability is 0 0.5. And then we're going to make this experiment, we're going to print heads. And we can see then how likely this result is. So I'm going to run this. And you can see, okay, a likely distribution is, or we can actually say, okay, uh, f string heads is that. And tails is total minus hats. So this is not the proof yet. I'm just showing you uh, when we run that experiment, we get something about 50 50 here, or around 50 50. So you can see, okay, it's 1690 1701 and so on. So it's almost the same. Whereas in our experiment, it was 2332 to 1059. So this is a huge difference here, you can run this a couple more times to see that uh, this is almost always the case. So in the next step, now we're going to actually calculate how likely this particular result is for this, we're not going to use NumPy. So we're going to delete all that. By the way, if you want to code along, you need to go to your terminal or CMD and say pip install, come on, NumPy, or pip or and pip install scipy. Um, and now we're going to say print binome, which is from the scipy, uh, scipy package, PMF probability mass function, which basically tells us, okay, in this particular uh, case, how likely is this particular case? How likely is that to happen? And we're going to say, okay, how likely is the result 2332? If we have a total of total, and a probability for each experiment is 0 0.5. This is what we're going to calculate here. So if I now print this, you can see that this number is so damn small, it's 6.46, whatever, times 10 to the power of negative 109. This is extremely small. And I'm going to show to you how small this is in a comparison here. Uh, first of all, let me show you the experiment that we did with the 50 50. Uh, where I actually said, okay, press left or right, depending on what you think everyone else will press. And this is kind of 50 50. There we had the numbers. Um, PMF, we had the numbers 343. So 343. And a total of 343 plus 349. So this was a total number. And you can say the probability here was also 0 0.5. Let's just assume that. Now, this has a probability of 0 0.02 point uh, or 0 0.029, which is 2.954%. Now you may say this is not a large probability, but this is still something that can happen 2%, 3%, 1%. This is a realistic outcome. Now, of course, it would be more realistic to say, okay, it's 50 50. Uh, but 2% or 3% is definitely something that can happen. It's, uh, it's reasonable to assume that this is a natural outcome. However, looking at that number, this is definitely not. So we're going to also uh, see right now, I, I looked up in the internet, how likely you are to win the lottery jackpot. So winning the jackpot in the lottery. And this was the calculation. This was the calculation of the website. This is how likely you are to win the jackpot by participating in the lottery once. So let's print that number. 
you can see this is times 10 to the power of negative 8. Here we have 10 to the power of negative 109. So I thought, okay, what does this mean? Let's say we don't win the lottery once, but we want to win it, I don't know, uh, five times in a row. Let's say this is what we want to calculate. This is e minus 36. Remember, this is e minus 109. So we're not going to go through all the numbers. If you want to know what to compare this probability to, let's look at 15 consecutive lottery jackpot wins. As you can see, winning the lottery jackpot 15 times in a row is more likely than ending up with this coin flip result on Instagram. Just for a comparison here. And if you're more of a poker person, I also figured out that the formula for a royal flush, so basically getting five cards and having, um, what is it? It's ace, it's king, it's uh, queen, jack, and I think 10 of the same symbol, so basically all of hearts or something like that. Uh, the likelihood of that happening is this number here, and it almost never happens, by the way. Uh, but if you want to know what the probability for this is, it's e minus 0, 06, so 10 to the power of negative 6. Uh, and if you want to know what to compare it to, it would mean that you get 18 royal flushes in a row. This is more likely than ending up with that Instagram poll result. Way more likely, by the way. As you can see, this is 10 to the power of negative 105, and this is 109. So 18 royal flushes or 15 times a lottery jackpot is more likely than ending up with that Instagram poll. And of course, it's possible. It can still happen. But I would say that this is pretty much a proof that you guys are scamming me on Instagram. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little educational video, and I hope you didn't take it too seriously. Um, if you like that video, if you want to see more statistical videos, let me know in the comment section down below. Of course, click the like button to support this video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.